just wanted to ask about um, alternative therapies and the effect. I'm sorry. About alternative therapies like acupuncture, shiatsu, uh, reiki, and I wanted to cover aura healing just in case I ever got interested in it. Uh, but how they affect, uh, uh, affect um, you as a practitioner? When, because what I read in Mystic Musings that um, if you if you give reiki to somebody, you're actually taking on their karmic karmic patterns, which was a bit concerning. <laughs> Why is it such a concern? I think I've got enough karma of my own. Don't really need anyone you don't want to take any of their stuff? Not particularly, no. Oh. It's about handling my own stuff. So, uh, alternative therapies. I think we did not really talk about uh, therapies like uh, acupuncture or pressure or any of those things. We were talking about healing systems, energy healers. It's only in that context we said this, not in terms of acupressure or acupuncture or massage or anything of this. People who are trying to do meddle with the energy, because you do not know all the nuts and bolts of how this system is made. Just meddling with one thing without knowing the other can cause various consequences. Not just about taking on karma, it can cause various consequences which are not necessary, which is very immature to do. But alternative systems of treatment, either in the form of Ayurveda or homeopathy or acupressure or whatever, they are alternative methods of treatment. They are different. Healing systems are different. We were saying that only with, the, with reference to healing systems, not of alternative systems of treatment. Sorry, can I just ask then, in terms of Reiki, which is about uh, working with people's energy, um, if, if you are a Reiki practitioner, how do you protect yourself then if, if, uh, from taking on karmic? By not doing it. <laughs> because uh, these are all things that have come out of dropouts from Buddhist ministries. You meddling with another person's life process without knowing the whole of it, is irresponsible. It is like you saw, you know these days you can see videos of major surgeries happening. So you saw a video like this, you observed everything very carefully. So tomorrow somebody has a problem, you take a shaving razor and decide to do a surgery upon him. I'm telling you, some people may survive this. People have survived such things, isn't it? Many times in battle zones, in nature, when accidents happen, people have performed absolutely crude surgeries upon somebody and they have survived. But that doesn't mean that's the way to do surgery, isn't it? That's not the way to do surgery, isn't it so? It's just that some people might have survived such surgeries. In extraordinary conditions it was done. So, any kind of meddling with other people's energies is very juvenile. It's coming out of a certain immaturity and a certain egoistic state of wanting to play God, which is not necessary. If it is coming out of compassion, What's your problem? Let everybody's karma come to you as long as he's relieved. What is your problem? That's not it. You want to play God with gloves on. It doesn't work like that. God didn't play the games with you, the conspiracy with you with gloves on. He got himself into you to play this game. It's only the priest who told you, but he's sitting up there and watching everything. But look at the way life is happening. The source of creation 
got it got itself trapped in you, isn't it? Yes, isn't it so? Unless you have that kind of involvement, you don't meddle with such things.